the Black Box HG2MS. Either the biggest bottle of snake oil that's hit the market or one of the best mastering plugins that you need to be using today. What's going on everybody? I'm Fearless and today we are taking a look at a crazy plugin that's garnered quite a bit of attention. Some people say it's straight snake oil sold in a box or it's the best plugin that everybody should be using on their master. So I went ahead and bought this thing to see if it really is a scam or not and we're going to figure this thing out together. So let's jump on in and take a look at the plugin. If you want to purchase the black box you can get this on the plugin alliance website. Now it's going for $330 right now but they do run crazy sales all the time and I was able to score this for $25. There's actually two versions of this plugin and this is the newer one that brings the mid side capabilities to it. So if we go right here, you can see we can turn mid side on right away and we can affect the mid on this panel and the side information on this panel. Otherwise, if we take this off, we have the left and right, which we can either affect together or individually. Now, this plugin is an emulation of the hardware rack and it's known for getting those warm saturation tones in analog gear. So we're placing this on our master here and we're going to go ahead and play with this mid first. And once we're happy with how that sounds, we can move on to the side. So we're going to go ahead and turn parameter link off here so that we can affect these each individually. So let's go ahead and start with the saturation here. We're going to press in out to turn it on, but let's go ahead and take a listen to the beat before we throw any effects on it, just so we know what we're dealing with. Awesome, so we got it soloed here. Let's just hear what this saturation is doing when we turn it up. We can either affect the saturation as a flat line or we have band passes and roll offs here. And since this is the mid, I wanna let's go for a low pass here and then we're just gonna go along the frequency until we like where it's at. Now we can actually play with the dBs and octaves here. And you also have a secondary saturation if you like this better. It's a little more aggressive. That sounds pretty cool to me. Let's hear what it all sounds like now. I think that sounds good right about 32%. Let's go ahead and play with these pentode and triodes. Since we have this on the master, I'm going to be doing just a little bits here. All right, let's play with this triad a little bit. I'm going to leave the air off for our mids here, and let's go ahead and just gain matches before we move on to our side. Let's hear it before and after. Now, here's before. Let's move right along to the side. I think this is where our mix is really going to shine. Let's turn on the saturation here. I'm going to turn it down. Let's go ahead and solo it. We're going to do the same thing. I say we flip it around and do it the other way now. Let's check this out. We'll play with the octaves. Let's go with the lower one this time. That sounds pretty cool to me. All right, let's go ahead and unsolo it. Awesome. I'm going to make sure to turn down the output a little bit as well, and we can move right along to our pentode. Let's go for the triode now. All right, I want to turn on this air too and play with this a little bit. Let's check this out. Yeah, you can tell it really shines it up. One thing that's really cool is you can bypass each of these as well. So if we wanted to work on the sides without the mids playing, we could totally do that. We could bypass the mids and then play with our sides and get that. Otherwise, that's a good opportunity for us to hear what it sounds like before and after the sides while having the mono still playing. So let's check this out. So we have some calibration here. We can pick whether we want the saturation to be more dark, normal, or bright. We have a mono maker, which this is dope. This will make anything mono below the hertz frequency that you set it. 
So I like to put this right around 100 hertz. We can add some stereo width right here using this knob. We have a parallel mix right here if we want to turn down the mix at all. And we have a final output for the whole entire thing. And last but not least, we have density here as well. And we can dial down the effects that we just added or boost them up a little bit more using that. All right, let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like before and after. I'm pretty happy with those results, but let us know in the comments below what you thought of the plugin. Also, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading videos like this to help you get better at producing every single week. And besides that one, guys, I'm going to catch you all again in the next one. Peace out.